feet immediately and it's time to meet the men, as they say. Hi, Chad. And he offers you the symbiotic arm. She would like to know if you believe in ghosts. G -g 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 ghosts? There is a dark spot on the hole. Organic. I'm not for investigating it from the outside. You ready for this? It's gonna be quite a ride. Welcome back, Marines, to a new adventure. Uh, the Ghost Fleet of 61 Signy is this one. So we start again on the Tambatam right after the previous mission. We're in the barracks. Two uh, Marines, Lynn Kruger and Duncan Lloyd, are there. Uh, what are they doing? <coughs> um, Duncan is most likely um, uh, asking questions about, like, uh, what, what's a good place to have a first date on the on the, on, on the ship, or, or um, is stargazing still a thing? And like, there's no milkshakes here, so <laughs> like protein shakes. Um, what, what does what does John really like? Uh, you know, yeah, he he knows her, and 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 he knows uh, who she is, but he doesn't really know what she likes. Mm. So that's probably something he's like. Uh, Eagerly trying to find out. And Lynn, is this uh, annoying you yet, or? No, no, no. I'm actually just um, trying to be unobtrusive for once. Um, trying to read my book, study a bit, prepare, um, thinking about ways of, of uh, getting the stuff I, I want to have now. Roy wanders in to the barracks and uh, comes up to you, like, not understanding what's going on. Uh, he, he knows you have been asking around for Joan. He also, he's also wondering why you didn't ask him, since he knows everybody on the ship. But, um, and he says, uh, Lieutenant Casados would like to see you in the briefing room. Also, she would like to know if you believe in ghosts. And he turns around and walks out. What? What? That's oh. an odd question. Um, <laughs> I, yes. I, I sometimes refer to myself as a ghost, but... Are we there yet? No. no oh, we're not there. Not there. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> Are we g there g g g Ghosts? <laughs> ghosts? Well, I, I, I believe they're probably real, not in the way you would think they are, but what, what bullshit will this be? Well, that, that's like the thing you killed last time. Yeah. Wasn't the dr dragon in the literal sense, but... Ah. Uh, what? It was clearly the dragon the, the book was talking... It was... It looked like a dragon. Yeah. Maybe it looked like a ghost. Maybe. It's just someone with a sheet. I know at Halloween I used to do that, but then my mom got angry because I always used new blankets to make holes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not allowed to do Halloween anymore. I'm afraid... You think Joe would like Halloween? Probably. Cool. <laughs> okay, so you follow Roy to the <laughs> briefing room. And when you enter, there are two people you have not seen before. There is a guy sitting in the ah. corner. Yes, I rise to my feet immediately, and it's time to meet the men, as they say. Hello, um, Private First Class, Lucas Brown. I'm happy to be assigned to your unit. Um, I think we'll make a good team um, if we work together, follow orders. Why is he so happy? Why is he British? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you're the new boss? Not yet. I'd, I'd like to be one day. Just. just putting my ambitions out there already, try, try, try to be transparent with the people I might uh, lead one day. One of them. Yes, sir. And the other person is a young man with uh, one cybernetic arm. He was leaning against uh, the wall and just straightens up and goes, Hi, I'm Chad. And he offers you the symbiotic arm to shake. I tried it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chad. Duncan probably will try to see if 
How strong it is? Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, like, like, I'm not all right. to that. Okay. Let's do a strength roll on the post. Oh. Strength roll. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Pure strength. Strength. Uh, oh, but I get a plus one, right? You get a plus one on your cybernetic card. One. How much do you need? Five, please. God. <laughs> <laughs> I fight two without cybernetics. Here I go. Oh man. One, one. one success. I'll take the same. <gasps> two successes. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't feel anything in that cybernetic <laughs> arm, but you hear like, <laughs> and you let go. <laughs> cool. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Likewise. Okay, guys, enough playing around. Lieutenant Casados enters the room, walks straight to the podium. Snap into the attention. Good morning, squad. Morning. Hi. Good morning, ma'am. She hits a button, and on the hollow tap table, uh, you see the light coming out, and there's a Conestega class starship. It's the exact same model as you are in right now, but it looks a little bit worn. Older. I hope you're up for a strange one today. We're looking at a photo taken yesterday of a ship that has been identified as the USS Nanshan. The ship was part of an attack fleet deploy deployed at LV-38 in the 61 Cygnus system in the, the very beginning of the Frontier War. The fleet disappeared without a trace. And I know there are a lot of stories going around about ships appearing out of nowhere, around outback colonies, attacking and going to FTL again. But this here is rumor control. USCMC High Command classified the fleet as being yet another victim of the border bombers. How and why the Nanshan reappeared suddenly, we have no idea. The ship seems to be functional. So, your mission will be to investigate the ship and find out what happened to it in the time since it disappeared. As you well know, the Nanshan belonged to the 5th Division Spec Ops team, the Sin Eaters. I don't believe in ghosts, but those guys and gals are survivors. So with some luck, this will be a rescue mission after all. Okay. Roy will assist you with the mission prep, as usual. We'll send you out on a Cheyenne, so at least you'll have some firepower to back you up if, if things go south. Tamitam will keep position here until you cleared the Nanshan. Any questions? How long ago did the Nanshan disappear? Very beginning of the Frontier War, so... That's a couple of years uh, then. Yeah. Survivors. You can survive for a year, it's not that hard. Well... In outer space with... You're in the ship, huh? Question. It's true. If it is Ghost, how do we take him back home? It's okay. not Ghost, Chad. You know. Well, yeah, Chad. <laughs> oh, it's Chad. I thought it was Chad. Sorry. Oh, it's Chad. Chad. And you get a little friendly bump. <laughs> I'm going to put you at buddy. No, we... Uh... <laughs> Casados looks at you and is like, if there are ghosts, you can evac and let me know, but bring proof. If it's not ghosts, which it probably is, just... Take all the evidence you can and get back here. We would like to recover the ship if possible. Yes, Duncan. So, they appear and disappear again into FTL. What do we do when, there's, when it disappears and we're on it? You go to the bridge and find out why. That's why she's a lieutenant. <laughs> that's, that's smart. <laughs> that's smart. smart. How, how does she still have fuel after all this time? Oh, I know, I know. That's what we're sending out. That's what we have to find out, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, all, all right. Am I allowed to bring an RPG on a spaceship? <laughs> <sighs> we would like to get it back undamaged if possible, so maybe leave that one at home for the moment. And that goes for you too, Chad. Oh. See, that's why I wasn't going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Roy would have, would have stopped you. I'm looking at Roy. Like <laughs> <laughs> now it's Roy's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Roy. And for some reason, Roy rolls with his eyes. 
um, I'm very comfortable in, in uh, environments where I can camouflage myself. Um, what kind of uh, color of suit would you advise Jungle. for this mission? Jungle seems ill-advised. Lucas, you're going on a spaceship. Look around. It's the same one as this one. Same colors. All right, I could not hurt to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I will dress accordingly. Bring a backup, you never know. And stock Coach. up on ammunition, do not forget men. Bring a sheet with holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I can see this is going uh, <laughs> the wrong way. Roy, take him to the armory, please. <laughs> yes, Roy, we're ready for action. <laughs> you fight ghosts. You die. Okay. And then you fight him in the afterlife. Uh, Roy ap approaches you and he goes like, I have no information on ghosts in my data banks. I do believe they are a story and not real. But if you would encounter one, you have my best wishes. Thanks, Roy. Roy, um, can we maybe lend one of those little computers to store data on? Borrow. PDAT? PDAT, yeah. Yes, of course. You arrive at the armory, he walks to his little shop <laughs> with all the, the racks with all the weapons. Pulls out a drawer. Here you go. Thanks. I'm going to try and, well, not sneak, but just not mention the RPG situation. <laughs> and try to, like, gloss over it and then, like, just like, casually. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Mr. Lloyd. I can still see the RPG launcher on the back of your armor. Yeah. Would you kindly remove it, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe Lieutenant Casados ordered you to leave it here. Yes, sir. You should listen to orders. That's why they exist. I will remove it from my sheet. <laughs> Is it like an, an alternative that I can... You like can maybe take electroshock grenades. I have those. Take a couple of more of them, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, that's brilliant. Roy puts a box on the table on the desk. Yeah. Oh. So my With all those sick. nice little so egg-shaped grenades. I'll, 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 I'll do the counting in my head. And then, uh, I have a carrying capacity of six. So I have an RPG launcher on this too. I'm assuming mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to take it. No, no. Same goes for you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyone else want anything specific? Um, I cannot carry a lot. I'm not a uh, not a very muscular type of person, so I think I'm full up after grabbing some ammunition. Okay. I found some nades on the previous. Um, you found some? Some grenades on the previous mission. I have four of them from the um, Soviet. I'm not sure about the. The UPP guys. The UPP guys. I still have those. I'm, I haven't mentioned those, but there's... If you haven't mentioned those, you can keep them. You should have. If Roy doesn't know about them, You should have offered them. those to the requisitions officer. He's not showing you. Oh. You, oh, you have all your ammo you need? Uh, ammo, that might be a good idea. Hang on. I have, I'm leaving my pistol and taking the PDAT. You're leaving your pistol? Yeah, I've got a better rifle. Okay. <laughs> That's your standard regulation sidearm. You should not leave it. Anyway. I'm, a, I'm a medic. I. <laughs> Chad found his rifle. What's, what's your name? I'm Lucas Brown. Lucas is my rival. <laughs> yeah, I wrote him down too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are all loaded up to the brim with your weapons and stuff. And uh, I guess you're going to go to the, the hangar deck. And lo and behold, Joe. Joan Redding is waiting for you there. Hi, guys. Uh, hi, hi Joan. Joan. What's up? You ready for this? It's going to be quite a ride. Yes. OK. You all pile in. Do I know her? No, you're <laughs> relatively new. I so you all like you. <laughs> 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 hmm. Can it be a buddy and a rival? <laughs> So, I was uh, just wondering if I had milkshake information, okay. <laughs> so this is going to be a two-day trip. By the time you enter the system where the Nan Shan has been spotted, the cabin starts to reek a little bit, so uh, there's a lot of sweat and testosterone in the air. I think I will try to um, 
ha make make a little alone time for Lloyd and Joan the night we have to spend on the ship. Oh, that's nice. Um, so I will find something for Lucas to complain about in, on my attire. And, uh, no, you're fine, actually. I'd like to talk with Lloyd. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he needs some time alone with Joan, you know? Are you involving Chad in this? Of course, I will. Uh, yes. I will distract you <laughs> by pointing out all the irregularities in my armor that you can complain about. We can get this fixed. No, don't worry. We, 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 we can find a requisitions officer and, and just get all of this taken care of. Yeah, but what if I don't want to? Well, if, if it's useful for you, if, if it helps you, then I would suggest you fill in the proper form, have it approved. I like red. Can I have a red uniform now? I'm not the person to ask. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I was having a quite a quite cool tea, and you guys uh, decided to ask all yeah. cool these questions. Tea. So Lynn, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> she found some some blankets, and she made a little curtain mm. to to block off anything. I so you can't see the cockpits, and you nuzzle up in the second chair. This is nice. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, so much space. It's quite calming for me. Yeah. I like the stars. Stars. It's <laughs> <laughs> not much else to like in space. Yeah. I like stars too. Uh, I once uh, almost met like his famous movie star, but I, uh, I was not uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's sad. <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a tough person, I can... Uh, I can see that. Yes. So, do you like... corn? <laughs> <laughs> Not really my favorite. Corn. <laughs> Hates corn. <laughs> yeah. So I grew up on a farm. Oh. Did you grow up? Yes, I grew up. <laughs> But I'm more of a city girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Grew up near a, an air base, so I saw all those fighters taking off all day long. Guess that's how I ended up here. Yeah. Want a gum? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she offers you a gum. <laughs> First base. <laughs> I'm never getting a. Oh, I'll probably swallow it. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. He, he definitely knows what gum is. So. <laughs> Yeah, this is nice. I like the way your voice sounds. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. So, I guess you better get some rack time. Yeah, We're almost yes. there, so a couple of hours. Yes. Thank you, Joan. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> 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 so the shine comes into visual range and you see the outline of the Conestinia starship like an ink blot against the planet it's in orbit of. At first glance the ship looks intact. There's some light scorching on the starboard side but you can't see any hull breaches and there's definitely a glow coming from the engines. So what do you want to do? This is, Joan, is it possible to like go around the complete ship, like have a, see if there's any hull breach? Sure. Joan steers the ship in, you know, circle around. And uh, if anybody wants to do an observation roll, yes. now is the moment. There you go. Oh. Observation. Yes. Two. Ooh, two successes. successes. I would like to do an observation as well. Okay. I'm probably more looking at Joan than anything else, but... Yeah. Looking, looking at Joan. Joan. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a dark spot on the hull uh, near the front of the ship, and it doesn't look like scorching or, or burn marks. It's a beauty mark. Yeah, like, like most scorches are like directional and, and more straight. This is more like a blob. Hey, yeah. hey, I think I found the problem right there. Look at that. 
Whereabouts is that? Is that front of the ship, back of the ship? Front of the ship. Front of the ship. All right. So the, the bridge is like In more. Uh, the after. bridge uh, is the bridge is more on top. This blob does looks like it's a hole in the ship, or is it on the outside? It's something bulging out. It's it's on the hull of the ship. On top of it. Yeah. You okay. want to take a closer look? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. What I think is that it's some kind of melted plastic. So it's Joan nice. moves closer, and you can see that it's it's a, la a layer on top of the ship, uh, and it's definitely not a scorch mark. It's ink black. Does our ship have any capacities to you know, manipulate things outside of it? Yep. Maybe arms or something? Scanner? Okay. They have scanners, but what do you want to scan for? I, what is it? Is it like... You don't have any scientific equipment. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. mm -hmm. we, we would have to make a spacewalk to, to do that. Yeah. I'm not it. But can't we just land and go poke at it from the inside out? If it's visible on the inside. I'm up for investigating it from the outside, if that's opportune. You want to try? Just just a quick look-see. Um, one of your... You know, glass tubes. One of your glass tubes. Is it, when, we clo when we come closer, is it like smooth or is it like bubbling or is it like... It's uh, it's more or less smooth. You notice that your your, your front lights, you shine them, but, but just the light just disappears. It's, it's just that black. Mm. Yeah, it's it's super super black. I'm going to try and take a look. I have one of your glass. Yeah, I assume this is to take a, a sample. Uh, I'm yeah. not sure that I should touch this substance, but I will just get up close and use give a screwdriver or something. So uh, you want to go out and take a look? Yeah, cautiously, okay. but still. You, uh, you get your t your suit on. Yes. Is there like um, a regulation that you always have to go in twos in pairs? To Shh, don't space? tell him. You are pretty close and. The safest thing to do would be to get a line attached to the to the ship to the mm -hmm. inside, and you go out and you stay attached to the line, so that way they can pull you back. That's what I will do. So of that's course. pretty safe, yeah. I guess. I'll, I'll get in the suit. I'll, I'll go into the airlock with you, but I'm staying in the airlock. Even yeah. So in case to pull them the back. two of you stay behind. You go to the front of the ship, so the back can close off. Both get in a vac suit and the it smells. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the ramp lowers, so the back of the ship opens up. All right. You get your line, click it on the... the Just screen. like the simulations. you never done this? Have you done this? <laughs> I've trained for this, at the very least. I'm, I'm going to take my maiden flight. All right, so that's a plus two roll for mobility. Yeah. All right. So you jump out, you float towards the ship. The line's attached, eh, by the way. Yeah, yeah, the line's attached. <laughs> 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 <Just> Bye! Bye! <laughs> Make a wits roll. <laughs> I'd like to get close, but not too close. Just look at it from two, three feet uh, distance. Feet? We're not... We're, oh yeah, you're British. <laughs> <laughs> Several yards. Okay, make a mobility roll to see if you can land safely. Uh, I'm poking you going, take pictures, take pictures. Uh, one. One is enough, one. I hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, uh, you land on the side of the ship. Mm -hmm. It takes you a few seconds to orientate, and you're standing uh, like two meters away from where the, the, the black stuff starts. Mm -hmm. And you, when you get closer, you see it's not, it's not oily. It doesn't look liquid. And, and, and doesn't there's no gleam on it like it doesn't reflect the light mm -hmm. it absorbs all light it has a more uh, ashy dusty look to it hmm have I ever ever seen anything like this no nope. in your many experience <laughs> years <laughs> so what are um, you gonna do I'd like to ra radio back if I can see yeah okay. um, should I collect a sample or do you guys think I should not touch this strange thing I collect a sample, but maybe don't touch it. Yes, I'll, I'll use sort of the back end of a signal flare and sort of try to scrape something in the vial I received. Okay, and you, you notice that the stuff uh, seems to stick to the flare a little bit, so you scoop it in and you really have to 
mm -hmm. scrape it to the to the sides of the cylinder to get it off. Is it like a putty or or, um, or viscous? It, it's both, so it doesn't look, like it doesn't have the wet look of oil or anything. Like tar more. Yeah, yeah, but it is, it is viscous and and and, and sticky, mm -hmm. but creamy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't behave the way you expect it mm -hmm. to behave. That's what I'm trying to say. Space. <laughs> then I'd like like to head back. Okay, you jump off. Yeah, I'm start start to pull him in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what how space works. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to talk to the pilots to see what kind of flavor of, of shake she likes best. Double buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wingman. Well, unless he's no, you're talking to Joan. Yeah. yeah, just well, trying to figure out her that's, taste. That's an odd question while we're trying to get the sample here, but uh, you know, I'm just a simple farm boy. <laughs> I'm not very good at small talk. <coughs> so, what is it with farm boys? <laughs> look, no, I'm. Uh, look, you know Lloyd likes you, right? Like really likes you. Yeah, I really. Really? Met him. Yes. Well, that, that's that's nice to know because. I kind of like him too. Oh, awesome. That's great. <laughs> but he's kind of shy. So. You can tell him I, I kind of like strawberry milkshakes. All right. Like the pinky ones. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I got to steer the ship now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the ramp closes behind you. The, the, the in-between door opens up and uh, just before every, that, everything I, is... I'm, I'm gonna make sure that uh, there's no leftover uh, residue on the... Um, on the outside of the... Yeah, yeah that, that everything's like contained within a vial or... Yeah, I, I, I just, just, just jettison... Yeah, exactly. Um, if, yeah. That's just... Well, I suppose you did it all right. Uh, well, let's have an... Oh, brilliant! <laughs> let's have an... I was about to say that I would probably drop the flare. Yeah. Straight agility. So, okay. Straight agility. What am I trying to do? Or <laughs> To see if you manage to get it all clean in there. Right. Yeah, yeah. You did, yeah. yeah you brilliant. Did. Okay. Did have a so, you managed to uh, clean wipe it off and, and... So, it's... Vacuum sealed, perfectly in order. Yeah, perfect. It's safe. <laughs> All right. Are you comfortable with uh, science situations? Uh, should we run some tests, or is that for later? What did it taste like? I have not tasted it. I'm wearing a helmet. Does it look like we have a lab in here? I don't know. Does it look like we have a lab? You in don't here? have a lab <laughs> inside the dropship. Okay, okay, it's a dropship. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he goes. Do, <laughs> do we? Do we? <laughs> Still hand it over to you. All right. So she likes strawberry milkshakes. How, how, how do you know? Because I asked. That's brilliant. And I go like this, and I just run off to <laughs> prep for. Okay. Joan uh, moves the ship underneath the Nanshan and she flies it into the docking bay. Now the ship is identical to yours. There's no real problem getting in there. The, the docking bay is actually open and right. she flies in and she docks, closes the, the airlock. So, so that's all still functional? It's all still functional. That's now. really weird. It reacts the way it should. When she sends the signal to open up, it opens up, closes. So it's oh, all functional. It's on. Okay. All right, so here's what I think we should do. Like, this ship has been missing for a year, right? Mm -hmm. So they're probably all sleeping. In probably. I don't know. You also seems, seems, seems logical. Yeah, you also see that both dropships are still in the hangar. They're, they, when they're stowed away, they're hanging in their clamps and they get moved in to the drop position. So Joan really has to carefully park it where there's still a little bit of room and sets it down right next to the airlock. Uh, I like your hair. <laughs> Thanks. I meant on the fly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. 
it's it's really impressive how it's like still so <laughs> soft. I, I think it's soft. I haven't. <laughs> Uh, I, it's not like I'm watching <laughs> Joan sleep. really starts to blush. <laughs> so, are you ready to move out? You know, this ship probably has an armory too. <gasps> Just saying. I did not think of that. It has an do armory sea launcher. Do they have a Roy? Maybe. Let's find out. Yes. To the sleeping pods! It's, it's, that's the opposite side as the armory, though. Oh man. Yeah, where do, well, we, where do you want to go first? Well, uh, first we need to find out what's going on. Because we have a mission briefing, and although Duncan likes everything that can explode, he's still, he's still a, a, a marine, so he takes out his, his shield, he takes out his baton, and goes to the door. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really quiet in the hangar. No, it's not. Chad is here. I think the, the, the place we should head, head to first is either the sleeping pods or control center and the bridge um, to get an idea of what's going on. Is it like a, 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 a computer terminal we can access, well, someone can access to like have some information about the ship. Is there pressure everywhere and all that? Because we're just walking around here just assuming everything is... is, is That's we're not wearing our vac suits, right? Or I guess not. Yeah, there, there, there are only two in the ship. Yeah, anyway, exactly. So. Duncan probably just assumed, well... Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, hang the hangar is. bay is pressurized, <laughs> otherwise yeah. Joan wouldn't yeah. have opened the ramp. Obviously. But you can walk up to uh, one of the access terminals in the hangar bay and... And just have a yeah. quick... Yeah, scan. like, like see if, if, if there are life signs, if, mm -hmm. if, if that's at all possible. Sure. Right. Uh, somebody with Comtech can maybe... I have it a little bit, but I'm probably not the best. I have no Comtech. Uh, neither. Also, chat wouldn't even think about yeah, that. You don't have a contact marine with you, so you're gonna have to see what you can do. All right, earn your stripes. Yes. Nice. Computer boots up, and uh, what do you want to know? First of all, can we? Can we? Is it the air safe to breathe here? Is that possible to to? Yeah, the computer says that the air is clean and all scrubbers are functional. All right, champs, breathe easy. <coughs> Yes. Um, is there any? Um, can we access from here? Maybe some some logs. Um, did someone enter something in the computer? Some 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 journal. Um, the only logs you can uh, access here are the logs of the hangar bay. If you want to have a more general idea of what happened mm -hmm. on the ship, you will have to go to the bridge or to the mother console. Well, then we'll 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 see. Maybe if is there any? What's the last thing? that happened in the hangar bay that's locked in here? Did the ship leave or, or arrive? Or? Uh, the last entry is a return of uh, the two dropships with all troops accounted for and everything was cleared and stowed. How and long ago was this? That was seven months ago. Mm. All right. These things haven't moved in seven months. That's odd. Permission to move, sir? Chad is getting. Um, um, you do not need to call. I don't think I'm higher in rank than you. Did you just give Chad permission to do whatever he <laughs> wants? <laughs> All right, Chad opens the door. You open the door, and if you can give me an observation roll, please. Yeah. I'm right there. Can I also do one, or? I need one. You can. You can help. So add an extra dice if you're both watching. One success. One success. Okay. The hallway in front of you is empty. There's no movement. But you can see that there is some faint traces of uh, dust in the air. Mm -hmm. But the scrubbers are active. The scrubbers are active. Yeah. But the door goes open. Uh, uh, Duncan moves in right after the uh, chat. Yeah, we make a line. Yeah. Like he, ch he checks less, I check right. Okay, right. clear. clear. Where are you moving to? I make a point yeah, of the sleeping pods. pods. Sleeping pods? You see rows of weapons. You see the little desk where 
your Roy normally sits. And there's lockers. They're all closed and there's no movement. I suggest we check out up to here and then you can shop a little bit while I keep going. Um, uh, well, he's, he's a professional marine, so... Okay. Um, so you're good for he, now? He, no, yeah, he's fully loaded. Um, he probably looks around, takes notes, like, if I need it, I, I can come back here. But he's not going to, like, raid it. I'm, I'm going no. to try and, and, and see if the lockers are locked, if we can open them, see what's inside. No. The lockers are all closed. You see all the names with the labels on the outside. Uh, you recognize some of those names as being from the senior student. They're pretty well known. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. a pretty famous ship, actually. Yeah, okay, so we're so at the... the lockers are closed or locked? They're locked. Uh, locked. Yeah, they have uh, a little yeah, cipher yeah, yeah. code. So we're at the door of the armory. Um, our plan is to just keep moving and check out the briefing room, yeah. see if that's yeah. safe. Yeah, and then I'll maybe there's information in the briefing yeah, room. I'll, I'll come in and, and okay. make sure that everything, just go around, make sure everything's safe. Yeah, make sure the locker room is safe yeah. and then stand guard while yeah. you lock, check yeah. out the briefing room. Well, Great. right. If, if the door's closed, open the door and then yeah. make space for the, the smart people. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's, it's quiet. It's like there's absolutely no movement. The only thing you hear is like the soft rumble of the engines and the, the, the vibrations it sends through the ship. But that's all. There's nothing there. Yeah, Duncan's really on edge. That's why he left all the guns. Like, something's weird. Jed is extra loud to like fill in the void. <laughs> the void. He's like, clear, all clear. All right, sir, let's go. All right. Like, um, extra. Let's check out this next room. Um, it's the you walk room. in the briefing, briefing room. room. Mm -hmm. So you have all the rows of chairs. They're all facing away from the door. And there's a little pedestal where the lieutenant gives the briefings. And next to it is like a hollow tab, a, a table where holograms come up. Mm -hmm. So you know this. You've mm -hmm. just been there. Is there a way to access the, the last hologram that was? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You do that. I'm going to. I'm going to check out um, if anything in this room is irregular, because I'm specifically looking out for the same thing I saw on the outside of the ship, and see if it's on the inside too. No. There's no mm -hmm. black stuff in here. Um. That's one success. Okay, you fire up the console and look through the last entries and. Hit a button and the light in the holotap goes on and there's a ship. A ship of unknown configuration. You haven't seen it before. I, I will try to upload the, the hologram to the PDAD. That's fine. Okay. There is no further information. You just have the hologram. It's or more like a, a horseshoe shaped ship. Does it have like any markings like names or like banners or colors or? There's actually little detail. Uh, it's, it's very vague, so it's just a general shape of it. One thing you notice is that there's like no angles on it. It's just, it's just like... Organic. Almost, Almost. yeah. All right, thank you for watching this episode. Next week there will be a new one, so subscribe, click the notification button or just keep an eye on the page. See you next week. And it's eerily quiet and empty. I like tense up, I like take a step back. Why are you guys stopping? Something's off. You can see that it has been shot in the gut. Well, what in God's name are these dark pools of black? Ugh rustling from inside. How did I miss that?